Hello, this is Jennifer Waymark, and you're listening to an Oshawa Museum podcast. Today, we will look further into the life of Ebenezer Elijah Henry. This podcast series aims to actively promote awareness and appreciation of our community's history, highlighting remarkable artifacts, documents, photographs, or events from our past. We hope you enjoy the podcast. Ebenezer Elijah Henry was born on September 19, 1828, the youngest of five boys born to Thomas and Betsy Henry. Sadly, Betsy died on November 12, 1829, when Eben was just one years old. The death of Betsy left Thomas alone to care for five young boys, aged a nine to one. While a sister of Thomas's came to help the family in their time of grief, Thomas knew that the boys would need a mother. Through a series of letters, Thomas began courting a young woman from Port Hope, Lorenda Abbey. They were married on November 2nd, 1830, and Lorenda moved to Port Oshawa, becoming the mother to five young boys. By all accounts, Eben had a fairly typical childhood of the time period. Lorenda took to her new role as mother and raised the five boys as if they were her own. The family grew to include ten more children. They had a farm and a fruit orchard on which the boys would have been expected to work. Thomas and Betsy had built a frame home where they started their family. Sometime around 1840, Thomas and Lorenda had a stone house constructed for the family. Along with his siblings, Eben's education most likely began at a small log cabin school located in school section number two, Cedardale. The school was located approximately two and a half kilometers from the family home. It is unclear if Eben attended high school. However, we know that Eben did attend Starkey Seminary, located in Eddytown, New York. In a letter written to his father, Eben recounts returning to the seminary and once again seeing his teacher, Professor Edward Chadwick. Professor Chadwick became the head of the seminary in 1847, and when Eben attended the school between 1847 uh, and 1851. It appears that during his time in New York State, Eben met Harriet E. Mills. Harriet was living with her mother and stepfather and is listed as a student in the 1850 U.S. Federal Census. At this point, we are still researching whether or not she was also a student attending Starkey Seminary. The seminary was approximately 23 kilometers from the Wakeley home in Dix, New York. Even if they were not students together at the seminary, evidence points to this being the time that Eben met Harriet. Sometime between 1850 and 1852, the couple wed and moved back to East Whitby Township and settled in a frame house located close to his father's home. The couple left East Whitby Township and headed to Port Hope in around 1857, where Eben opened a photography studio. He worked as a photograph artist in Port Hope. He not only created ambrotype photographs for his patrons, he could also produce copies of daguerreotypes, engravings, painted portraits, and other such artwork. Eben considered himself an artist and was listed as such in the 1861 federal census. During their time in Port Hope, the couple had a young woman named Nancy Kerrigan living with them and working for them. A young student named Samuel Graham also appears to have living with the couple in their three-story brick home. The studio moved several times during his time in Port Hope, but it did appear to be a successful business venture. In 1866, Eben and Harriet moved from Port Hope to Leavenworth, Kansas, where he once again opened a photography studio. Even with the distance between them, Eben maintained relationships with his family here in Canada. Visits from relatives to Leavenworth, letters sent back and forth, and visits back to Canada meant that Eben was still knowledgeable about the goings-on in the Henry family. While Eben would return to Canada to visit the family, he made Leavenworth his home until his death on February 7, 1915. The collection of glass plate negatives that Eben created during his time in Leavenworth had become an important part of the Mary Everhard collection. This collection of over 30,000 glass plate negatives depict a century of Leavenworth history and provide fascinating glimpses into the African American communities in Kansas. Over the years, the collection has been divided up and now there is a small portion of the collection at the Ammon Carter Museum of American Art in Fort Worth, Texas. The vast majority of the collection is now part of the Leavenworth County Historical Society's collection. Eben is a focus of the newest publication currently being completed by the staff of the Oshawa Museum. The book, entitled To Cast a Reflection, The Henry Family in Their Own Words, 
will provide context and explanation for a series of letters written by members of the Henry family. This has been an Oshawa Museum podcast. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our other historical video podcasts and subscribe to our channel.